Welcome into the official. I'm your host, Alfred. And yes, I am solo this week, but Matt and David definitely working behind the scenes, getting us all these clips, getting us stats uh, and some information. Then I'm just going to do my thing and talk about these guys. So if you didn't, if you missed it, go check out the QB episode, went through the top five QBs in the 2026 class. Now I'm going to go through top five running back per on three industry rankings. And we'll see if we can't get through these guys fairly quickly. I tend to talk more about quarterbacks in general. Um, so first up, Derek Cooper, six foot, 190 pounder, um, undecided between UF and Miami. He's out of the state of Florida. I believe Chaminade Madonna. So, you know, he, he's down there in, in Miami. And you'll see here, he's got a lot of DB clips. I mean, I mean there's a, he's playing safety on that clip. I think he switched to primarily running back for his junior season, this current season. Uh, played a lot of defense. Shows a lot of body control. I will say that, you know, I like the clips where, um, you know, here he is playing safety again. So these clips are actually him, uh, you know, not playing running back. So we kind of don't have the best idea of running back. Here he is uh, coming out of the backfield, though, catching a pass. And I say that I've seen him lined up at receiver. I've seen him uh, playing safety, of course. I've seen him line up out of the backfield. So, you know, his older tape shows a lot of different skill sets, a lot of different movement. Um, and then I think the, a lot of it will translate to being a running back, but I'm going to withhold a lot of judgment here on Derek Cooper for when I can see, you know, full running back tape, which just kind of isn't out there right now. Couldn't even find Chaminade Madonna full games. Um, but he does have a 10, 800 meter. Love to see that. He's got a 22, six long jump. That's really good. Um, approaching 200 pounds. And I think he'll be able to put on, you know, be over 200 pounds by the time he heads off to college. And then his stats, though, are a little bit of a bummer. But again, he's not playing running back full time. 91 for 629, 6.9 yards per attempt, 10 touchdowns, eight receptions for 90 yards. So, like, I like that he's doing stuff all over the field, um, but definitely want to see higher yards per attempt. I mean, that's a problem. 6.9 is pretty low. Really want to see up close to double digits. Um, but that's Derek Cooper. I think a TBD on him, but he is the number one running back recruit on, on three right now. So we're going to definitely keep an eye on him. I'd like to see some more tape just because the old stuff is like a lot of safety, uh, you know, making big tackles and stuff. So we know he's got toughness and grit, but uh, not sure exactly what it looks like from the running back position for him. Next is going to be Savion Heider. He is 5'11 and a half, 190 pounds. So nice physique there undecided he's from virginia and so virginia is listed um high on his list but also ohio state and i think some other teams will probably come in here he transferred uh to louisa county a new school and we don't have stats from this year actually but as a sophomore he was 150 uh attempts for uh 10 60 yards at 7.1 per attempt and 10 touchdowns he's a two-sport guy has a 457 40 that we could find his bench and squat numbers are pretty low. So, you know, not showing tremendous strength. Granted, he's still young. I mean, some of that stuff might be from sophomore year. So definitely room to grow there. Um, you know, a lot of this tape is sophomore, junior year. A lot of the numbers are, you know, sophomore year potentially um, until we have camps post junior year. So, you know, these are works in progress. But I will say what I saw on tape here, like, I'll be honest, not a lot of special attributes. I mean, he does catch some passes. I like that. But uh, just generally speaking, um, not, you know, tremendous acceleration, not a lot of moves or creativity, kind of just a running back. Uh, that's it. I mean, just a, he's like a guy who's running fast. I mean, I, I didn't see a lot that made me think he's special. Um, a lot of, I could be missing some things, obviously. I mean, he's, he's ranked very high. He didn't pass like the gut check for me yet. Um, so Hyder to me, kind of just a guy, I'm not really impressed with difference making ability that from what I could see with him, but, um, you know, we'll see what we can get some more strength numbers. Maybe we'll get some more, um, a better 40 time and maybe he's faster, but it didn't show up on tape really anyway. So I'm kind of thinking, um, either I'm missing something or Hyder is just maybe overranked. Then we're going to go to Tradarian Ball, 5'9", 180 pounds. He is currently committed to Oregon. And uh, I did like what I see out of, out of Ball. Of course, he's a smaller guy at about 180 pounds. Um, his stats look 46 for 569. That's 12.4 per attempt. 
Also 21 receptions for 470 yards and three touchdowns. Really like that versatility, of course, especially on the smaller guys. You want them to be able to catch passes. He also does uh, kickoff returns for his high school. Three-sport guy, confirmed 44840, 10.5 meter. So, I mean, he's got speed to burn. Uh, I do think it shows up on tape. I do think the acceleration is there. I think he's a good player. He's an exciting electric player. Um, at 180 pounds, as we always say, let's be aware of that weight threshold. We really are going to need to see closer to 200 by the time he goes to college. He has some time to put it on, although I think 20 pounds um, in, you know, what, like 36 months feels like a lot. But, uh, you know, if he could even get into the 190 range with his speed, he is explosive. He can catch passes. Um Kind of that really old school Oregon running back, you know, Michael James level type um, archetype potentially. So it could be really fun at Oregon. Um, could complement the guys like, I mean, Jordan James will probably be gone by the time uh, Ball is ready to really take the field. But, you know, complementing a thunder and lightning type, he's probably the lightning of a committee potentially. Um, and then we have Jonathan Hatton who, you know, I'll be honest, I really like. We don't have 2024 stats for Hatton, but he's 5'11", 195 pounds, so definitely going to be over 200, committed to Oklahoma. And, you know, the tape looks good to me, and I'll say that before I turn it on. I really kind of liked it at size, over 200 pounds, or, you know, roughly 200 pounds. I thought he was shifty, um, creative with the ways that he would avoid defenders, and then he has long speed sub sub 1100 meter. The bad news is in 2023, he had 5.1 yards per carry, which is like really low. That's a big problem. But like here he's pulling away from safeties. I mean, I think the long speed is real with Hatton and he's going to be over 200 pounds. So big and fast. We like both of those things in our running backs. And he's 80th percentile in squat and clean, um, you know, in the weight room. So we know he's got a very strong lower body. We know he's going to be a big, strong, tough runner. Um, he's got some, you know, fresh feet. He can evade. Um, I've seen him evade linebackers. I've seen him evade DBs, you know, in a hole and then get around and then bust a deep uh, for the big long run. So I think he can do all those things. Um, that 5.1 yards per carry is a problem to me, though. Like highlights are one thing, but we really want to see consistency. Like that's a nice little run there. And look, that move on the safety at size is really impressive to me. But, you know, hopefully junior year, senior year, we're going to get some stats and, you know, can see a little bit better uh, from him on a consistency level. Because uh, that 5.1, you, there's just not a lot of guys who had that kind of yards per carry who go on to being good at the next level. But otherwise, I think there's a lot to like at Hatton, and the jury's out. I'm not saying he's one thing or another just yet. KJ Edwards rounds out the top five here, 5'11", 165, so definitely on the small end, even if you account for growth over the next you know 36 months before college. That is real small. He's undecided, though, uh, looking at Texas or uh, SMU right now. And another guy we didn't have 2024 stats on, but is a sophomore in 2023, 139 for 1987 uh that's over 10 yards per carry easily 20 touchdowns and then he had 14 for 130 through the air two sport guy 10 900 meters so you know i'd like to see a little bit more of that long speed although i think on the field you can see that he's got plenty of speed to burn but he didn't he didn't have you know some of these guys like harlem barry who's an undersized guy in the 2025 class just absolutely wows you with his electricity on the field I didn't see it as much with KJ Edwards. I thought ranked so high and being a lighter guy that he was just going to be sensational. And, you know, he just kind of runs fast against superior or inferior competition. So <clears throat> I'm not too thrilled with KJ Edwards right now. Um, you know, primarily being just a big hurdle of being undersized. I mean, you have to be lights out uh, in that speed and electricity components. This is Alfred, Campus to Canton. Like and subscribe. Signing off.